Good morning, everyone. Today is my last day in Venice, so let's make this day count. I still have about 50 euro to my budget, which is great. I didn't think that I was going to have that much of my budget left at the end of the trip. So I think I'm going to splurge on a few places that I didn't splurge before because I was just a little bit a little bit hesitant, you know. I wanted to make sure that I have enough for food at least. And I would have to say that this trip to Venice, my first time here, has been quite a successful one. It's so beautiful here. There are some parts that I don't quite like about it, but I'll let you guys know more of that in a different video. But for now, just enjoy the very last vlog of Venice. Trash is picked up at this place around every Thursday, which is why you see all the trash bags here. Now let's experience Venice one last time, you guys. So the last two days, it was really, really foggy and cold. But today, the forecast says it's going to be sunny, so it's a great way to just end this journey off in a beautiful sunny day, although it does look really cold right now, but that's because it's early in the morning. And of course, we need to start the day off with a cup of coffee at my favorite cafe. Love this place so much. So I'm gonna try to vlog a little bit more today since it is the last vlog. So the first place we're gonna be heading towards is San Marco Square and that's because there is a church that I really want to see and <clears throat> ooh, morning phlegm. <laughs> and I also want to see the, uh, the Duke's Palace since I do have some extra money. So I should be able to afford the ticket this time. <laughs> Let's get going. Dude, I am so off. <laughs> I've been to San Marcos Square at least three times on this trip. And for some reason, I veered all the way over here. But San Marcos Square is all the way over here. And I came from over here. <laughs> I went right instead of left. Wow. Just wow. All right, let's try to go in the right direction this time. Yeah. I really like this building. I don't know why. I just do. Look how flat it is on the other side. Makes you wonder what it's like inside. Really people? Really? It's around 7.30 in the morning, and if you're here early, you get the bridge size all to yourself. Front row seats. So since I'm going to be going inside the Duke's Palace, I will be walking through that bridge and looking out, so it's going to be really cool.
The history of the Duke's Palace started around the 9th century. Over the centuries, the palace has been rebuilt and added to, becoming Venice's showpiece of wealth and power, as well as home to Venice's elected king, the Doge. Okay, one word for the Duke's Palace. Overwhelming. <laughs> There's just so much to see that I couldn't grasp my head around it because there's just so much detail, so much painting, so much like <laughs> it was just really, really overwhelming. <laughs> For example, here is one of the rooms in the palace. You can see that every wall, including the ceiling, is covered with paintings. Although the room was quite large, it still felt claustrophobic. It was just a lot to see, you guys. Now we are off to San Zachariah. I think that's how you pronounce the church. Within this church, there's a lot of doges that have been buried there underneath a crypt. So it does cost two euro just to get into the crypt, but getting into the church is free itself. Let's hope that they allow me to film in there because I would like you guys to see it too. And here it is, you guys. Beautiful. The thing about this church is that it's only open at certain hours. And right now I'm in that time frame, so I'm going to take full advantage of it and see everything I can. So it seems like you can film in here, just no photos with flash. Excellent. Let's go in quietly. Enter the crypt now. So here's the sandwich up close. I love the fact there's no crust, which usually I don't enjoy eating the crust at all. So there's some ham, eggs, and salami, and I cannot wait to eat this. This would be the perfect snack that will help me not be hungry for another couple hours, hopefully. Oh yeah, this was satisfying. Second museum time. So the next stop is the Career Museum, also located in St. Mark's Square. So if you buy a ticket at the Duke's Palace, you're actually buying a two for one. And you can also visit the Career Museum on the same day and vice versa. The Korean Museum was built as a palace to house Venice's new rulers when Napoleon conquered the Republic in the 18th century. Today, it houses a rich collection of Venetian art and historic artifacts. So that one little sandwich was not enough, guys, so I bought three more. Okay, here is this sandwich. This one has salami with arugula and I think some sort of cheese. This one is a bit salty. Not my favorite. So here's the other one. This one has... I think it's ham with eggplant and mustard in it with some brown bread this time. Mmm. The mustard, you guys, have this like almost this tangy heat to it. That was really, really good. The 
eggplant could use a little bit more salt, but other than that, not bad of a sandwich. Oh, the sandwiches were so satisfying, you guys. So now I'm just going to take a walk in the doors in one of the lower neighborhoods. I forgot what the name was, but I'll put it right here. And yeah, and just wait until I'm hungry again because I really, really want to try that seafood salad from that one place as well as get some more gelato. Got my mango gelato. This time I decided to get it in a cup instead of a cone because I don't know, I'm just like really full after the cones. So the shop that I went to is called Laguna. And actually the flavor is really good. It tastes almost like fresh mango, but not quite. It tastes more like, how would you say it? Um, dried mango. That's what I would say. Like the Philippine dried mangoes. Those are delicious. Which is refreshing and yeah, that's why. So I'm just going to continue on this walk, enjoying my mango gelato. So my trip has come to an end and it was an amazing eight days here in Venice, but I'm not done with this city yet. So until next time, happy wandering.